you've been at the festival since you since I was 17 Wow. and I I came with the to the festival uh, with a friend and her parents and uh, someone that she knew was actually doing info booth at the outdoor site and uh, before I knew it, I was standing behind the info booth telling people about the festival that I clearly knew nothing about. But I knew right away that it was something that I wanted to be a part of. But it's interesting because um, I've as I'm seeing more and more fringe artists walking around, some of these people I don't see all year. And then when the Fringe Festival arrives, it's this amazing gift, you know, the it's kinda like Christmas actually. The night before the Fringe for All, I couldn't sleep and I was so <laughs> excited and I remember saying to my boyfriend, it feels like it's Christmas tomorrow, what are we going to get? It's pretty cool. This is the longest the festival's ever officially been. The festival actually started at the Fringe for All and we've, part of my vision for the future of the festival was to have established three programs. So we have the Fringe Park, which is everything that happens at our beer tent. We have the Fringe After Dark, which is all of, it's sort of a nightly series um, inspired by the 13th Hour that started with the Fringe for All and will end with the Frankie Awards. And then also the Fringe A to Z, which is sort of the bread and butter festival proper. How many shows this year? Over 700. 700 shows. You have approximately, well, you will have over till the end of uh, June 19th, is that correct? For, yeah, it, the, it started on uh, May 30th and the festival runs all the way to June 19th. And we already have more shows uh, than usual running right now. There's some stand-up comedy this year. And I find an interesting thing that I'm starting to notice is a lot of stand-up comedians are starting to do full-length solo shows right. instead of just straight-up stand-up. Like Andrea, for example. And Jess Solomon. Jess Solomon or Dan Bingham. I find that's a really interesting trend. You know, it actually hasn't been uh, treacherous this year on the external factor sides, but uh, I think after watching Jeremy for so many years, I've realized that that's just a part of the job. Um, and then I deal with it as it comes up. But uh, the whole nuts and bolts of the festival, uh, it's definitely a, a machine that was put together quite well. And it's really just about greasing it up.